something like that. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Yes, 4.30 p.m. seems to be my ideal time for my schedule. Hope of yours too. That was my inside voice, I guess. Should have been silent. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for my, joining my broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why I do all these talks, which are actually called Messages, Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's, I think, will particularly speak to that. And these daily talks, by the way, I've done a few. This is number 318 in my th series of daily talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's topic is, um, I can say this, it's important for the ladies and it's going to piss off some men, but it's worthwhile. So stick with me. Um, so this one I'm calling um, basically we men are lazy. So um, in a way, it's like ladies, you need to make it. You need not how to say this another way to put it. I'm going to rephrase this slightly, even though I've already given the title out. Basically, the challenge is, and you know, what? let me just explain what I'm talking about, and then maybe I'll come up with the title afterwards. Because the title I'm aiming for might be slightly askew from what I intend to say. Then again, it might be spot on. <laughs> we'll see when I get there. So, if you're watching me the first time, um, I should warn you that these are not scripted. They are generally free form, and they come out the way they do. Um, and ideally, there's something of value in there for you, <laughs> as well as for anybody else who watches. And this one might be a, a game changer for some people, for some women especially, um, in this sense. Because it's a lot about self-worth. Yes, it's going to include self-worth. Surprise, surprise. Um, and the reason why I'm talking about this is... It's time, I guess, I guess it's time I spoke about this. Which is, which is, simply put it this way. We men are lazy. And I mean it in the sense that efforting is something we don't do unless we have to. It's a thing where, unless we're inspired by something... And this is where I'm going to, get the, I'm going to shift it slightly so you get where I'm going with this. Unless we, unless we men are inspired by something or have a goal or an intention to, co to complete something or to get somewhere as a new result that we feel is a value, we probably won't bother doing it. I, want, I, I can shortcut this thing and do it in two seconds, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to give you more content. Um, <laughs> ladies, you've been settling too much in a sense that you settled for partners who didn't raise themselves up to the level that you wanted to be at. And that's kind of where I'm going to go, but I want to get more clarity and bring it to another sub, um, title so you get the understanding. As I said, we men generally are lazy. We are, we are goal-driven, but not necessarily driven men. As in, what inspires us and moves us forward is going for some sort of goal, simply put. Whether it is to go get another beer at the fridge, <laughs> seriously, or it's to change the world. They're all goals to men. And so it's it's not a thing that we participate in as something we're on the journey of. It's like, get the beer, change the world. And and I'm using the extremes for a reason. It's because everything in between is also a goal for us men. Unless there's a motivation for us to get there, if we feel motivated to change the world, or if we're motivated to get the beer, we're not going to take much action to it. So we've got to be motivated. Ladies, this is where you come in. When you are in the arena of courtship, mating, dating, relating, etc. like that, I know you want a man who is someone who's going to pursue you. And I'm not saying play the hard to get necessarily, but I might drop that in too. It's more about that you want a man who has intention and direction and clarity and focus and vision, all these different things. That's all fueled by goals. I need to... Okay. <sighs> I, have to, I have to out myself in this one. So I've got to be self-exposing, as it were. Not this, but, you know, heart, this stuff. My work, these daily Facebook Lives I do, are goals and steps towards a bigger vision. I do this for a reason, not just to say, hi, it's me on camera. In fact, that's the least reason why I do it. It's because my talks are intended to inspire you. My big vision, my goal that is world changing in that sense, not the beer, but the, goal, the world changing vision is to 
have women really claim their, their space in the world? I'm going to get there. In fact, if you joined in the beginning, you would have heard a bit of that. So let me jump. So, Christina, thank, thank you for that. Uh, but yes. Um, and I'll explain that piece again, so you'll have that. But let me just speak for myself. My big vision, my goal, my, my reason for being, my, my why statement, which is really, the, really a, a why statement or a, go, or a vision, is a goal to express to get somewhere, is because I feel that it's time that women lead the world. Not a small work, not a small goal, that's a big goal. But the way I'm doing it is by inspiring and helping women to own their space and claim their space in the world and really step into their power. And feminine leadership is the focus of that, not just competing with the men, but actually owning their space as strong, heart-centered, feminine women. So these Facebook Lives, as part of my work, excuse me, <coughs> part of these Facebook Lives is to drop little seeds and plant little indica um, seeds. Inspire and drop little, yeah, you'll get this, to have the recognition that you have that ability. So getting back on track, so talking about this topic, because that's what drives me. And so doing these Facebook Lives every day, which I you know, quite easily wouldn't, wouldn't do, but doing 300 of these things has been a discipline and also a intention to express this teaching more and more and more. And the goal drives me to do it. So that's why I'm doing this one today, as in same as yesterday, day before, day before that, or 318 of them. So to the topic and putting a spin on it. It's easy for me as a man, for any man, to not bother. We can be lazy. Lazy in the sense that the motivation isn't there unless I'm inspired. I'm inspired by the vision driving me to keep doing what I'm doing. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't do these, to be totally transparent. And so for us men, as I said, whether it's going for the beer in the fridge or changing the world, it seems that we need to be inspired by the result we're going for or something along the way for us to do it. Otherwise, we won't bother because there's no... Um, there's no payoff in a way. That what drives us, what fuels us as masculine men, if you want to go back to original story, this is, this is stuff from like our history, we were the hunters. And we only hunt to get food. We didn't hunt otherwise. We didn't hunt for sport because it wasn't, there was no reason for it. As cave dwellers or back in those times, we would be out to go get the prey, to c catch the deer or whatever it was, to bring back to the family to feed everybody for necessity. That was a goal to accomplish. If we didn't need to do that, we wouldn't bother. So it's always goal-driven for us as men to keep moving forward. And sometimes, for, for a lot of men, it's self-instilled goals so we can keep us going. So we may be lazy, but we're fueled by goals that keep us moving forward so we actually look like we're not. <laughs> but at the, same, at the same time, it's like we get to the goal so we can rest. The, the thing for us as men is we want to get to that goal so we can then relax and then have a beer and relax. And that's kind of that lazy part. It's not lazy 24-7, although some men are, it's about having the ability to say, accomplish the goal, success, I can relax now. And then the next goal shows up. So what's this got to do with relationships, you ask? Well, maybe you are, maybe you're not. Ladies, you don't function that way, naturally. Your general feminine way of being is being in motion, energetically speaking. And so for most women I know, it's, so putting your feet up isn't something you normally do. Yes, you may go to the spa or you may put your feet up and watch TV, but it's not, a, it's not your primary focus. For most women, it's in the motion of life, expressing, moving, doing things, that you're in your natural state, which for men is different. We don't. As I said, we are like, we go to a goal and we stop. We go to another goal and we stop. That's the way we function. So in relating and dating and mating, to put all those three words together, there's going to be this difference because of the way men and women operate, or I should say the masculine and the feminine operates. So ladies, what I mean by raising the, um, was it raising the bar, I think I said in the title, is what I invite you to do as women when you're looking to have a good relationship with a man. I've got two ways to go with this. I'm watching how it comes through. One of those is to be clear about what it is you really want in a partner, as in what you want that man to bring to the relationship. If it's a focus towards success, for example, or a focus towards family, or a focus towards social change, then be clear you want that. You not, won't necessarily inspire your man to go for that unless he's already put that in his own heart, his own mind, his own beingness. But the thing is, is that you make it easy for us. Because oftentimes, you don't 
hold a high watch for our vision. And this is where this power of the team can be. And I'm getting careful I say this. <coughs> excuse me. Since the winds yesterday day before I found this and getting some allergy stuff, so excuse me a second. All right, let's try and get this topic out clearer. For us as men, a lot of what fuels us for our goals and our visions and intentions is having a woman, a partner, a lover who gets us, supports us, inspires us, encourages us. However, that's the way it's coming. I hope for the however drop in. Unless we already have a focus of where we're going or we have an idea of what we want to do, all of that doesn't count because we're not directional. We don't have that thing in motion yet, which is that we don't clear about what direction is. So for, if you want a really amazing relationship, ladies, you want a man who has an idea or is ideally already working on that idea of where he wants to go in life. Your influence in his life, I know it's what I bring into my life, is having a woman that actually is my inspiration and is my fuel in a way, is that being with her and having her be in my life is what keeps me moving forward on the vision, the goal, even when, time, even when the going gets tough. And is that unified, that unif unity, <laughs> I was trying to make the word too long, that being this that creates an amazing relationship. And for you ladies out there who are looking for healthy relationships that really change your, that really you feel plenty, um, respected in, you want a man who stepped up to that point because a man who doesn't have that clarity, a man who has just, to be honest, has a nine to five job so he can go get, get paid so he can go pay the bills and then get drunk at the end of the week, if that's what you want in a relationship, go for it, but I don't recommend it. I believe every woman deserves a relationship where she's respected, honored, cared for, and loved, and ideally a man that she does that for as well. And by having that, do, that, um, blend together the two the man in the relationship has fuel and, and is fired up to do what he wants to do because the woman in his life encourages him and so he won't be lazy necessarily not in the sense of that what I meant he'll be stepping forward in a bigger way and as you ladies own that space for yourself and you don't settle for less than you deserve key by the way you will find yourself drawing into your life men that are that way and the ones who don't choose it They'll be left behind. I'm trying to see. I'm, I'm making. I, bear with me. I'm just reviewing what I've said over the last 10, 15 minutes to see if I covered what I was intending to cover and if I met the title I was starting with. I think I did. <laughs> I hope this is making sense to you. Um, I trust this is something that would be of value to you to take into your lives. Th these are my talks I do every day. And the intention, as I said at the beginning, is to help women own their power and their space and their love themselves in the world in a big way and these are designed to help that so I hope this has been a value to you um, two quick things one is um, if you're in Los Angeles by the way I'm actually speaking co-facilitating a workshop tonight in Brentwood at 7.15 7.30 and if you want to find out more about that message me in fact I did post the link to the event on my on my Facebook page um, Nine ten o'clock this morning, so you can find the information there. Second thing is, if you are in the throes of trying to discover how to have an amazing relationship and you're feeling stuck or you're not sure what you want or you're having some bad experiences or any of the above, I am offering a what I'm calling a complimentary clarity conversation, which is my gift to you. It's a discovery session, if you want to call it that, or a conversation or a consult. It's a chance where we can talk. I can get clarity on where you're looking, where you are now, where you want to go, and how you can get there. If you want to get that from me as my gift, go to my website, which is barrysilver.com, and click on, um, hang on a second, I'll get to that in a second, just done, Christina. It is, however, you're seeing a man, a more feminine man. He doesn't step up or intimate, I think an intimates, but he always responds to making plans. Initiate, right, yes. Well, that's where he's off track. Um, let me finish what I was just suggesting about the, the discovery session. Justina, thank you. I was like, how do you say your first body name? Thank you, Justina, for clarity, clarifying. Um, let me finish up what I was going to say, and I'll come back to that point. For those of you looking for help in the area of love and relationships, which may be this topic here, or any other topic, you can get a complimentary conversation from me, 
come, sorry, come from a clarity conversation with me, clarity is the key word, by going to my website, which is barryselby.com, clicking on the Let's Chat button, or the, actually the navigation bar, and sign up for a discovery session. That's my gift to you. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on my, on my site too, which I mentioned in a moment, but to answer your question, Christina, Justina, excuse me, you got it right. So um, I was that man, not with you, but in past relationships, I was more feminine than masculine. And I was always the one who was responding to making plans and was at the service of my partner, which I thought was the right thing to do. This is what was screwing up my relationships. So I know how painful it is from my side of things and certainly was for the women too. So what you're talking about, Justina, I know. I really know, personally. That was up until 2007. That's when things changed for me. That's why I do this work. Is I got clear that I couldn't do it anymore. Now, I was lucky enough to have a woman who read me the right act. Yeah. She, she's one, and this is how it worked out. She, she actually asked me out first. She hit on me, and she also broke up with me at the end. That was my neon sign to say, I need to change. So for me, what I ended up doing, because I was desperate for clarity, because I had all done all this work before that and all this spiritual counseling, and I didn't have the um, understanding. So what I did, thankfully, was listen to some guidance. I ended up finding a whole bunch of teachers and teachings and exploration for the next three or four years that changed my life. I can recommend, um, Justine, I can recommend some books for, you, for your partner if you, want to, if you want to stay with him. This is the key thing. And he's worth helping to change his life. I can recommend my book, first of all. Of course, I can recommend my own book, which is 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, which is a book for both you and him. I can also recommend another, recommend another book, which is called The Way of, of the Superior Man by David Dada, D-E-I-D-A. His work... Was changing, he's changed, changed my life as most other people I work with and that book is a game changer for men to understand what they're really about and be a book that you want to read as well to learn what sort of man you want to be with again it's the way of the superior man it's been out, been out about 25 years it's been out for a long time and David Data D-E-I-D-A I recommend that book in my book and my book again is 50 Ways to Love Your Lover if you go to my website barryselby.com and click on the book link you can find out more about my, my book there and you can order the soft cover or the ebook version or both that would be a good starting point for you and for him. So I hope that helps you, Justina. Um, I think I covered that part. So, yeah, I hope that helps you, Justina. Um, any other questions, comments about this topic, please put them below uh, again, as I always invite you to do. I do have this. Um, okay, he's a new man, but not committed. And the woman broke off an engagement a year ago. So he's probably been wounded. Um, and he may need help, too. Hey, Donna, good to see you here. Um, so Justina, yeah, I mean, it's your choice what you want to do. So if you really are invested in this relationship and you want to make it work, then I can recommend those suggestions. If it's not lining up for you, you may want to make some space for the right sort of man to show up. It's up to you. I don't know where you are in your relationship experience. So, yeah. And if you want some help, Justina, Justina please grab one of those uh, discovery sessions with me. I am here to support you. Um, this is my work. So to summarize and wrap up, the overarching, doing the admin, basically. This is one of my daily Facebook Lives, number 318. All of these live on my, you're welcome. Um, each of those live on my business page, which is barrysubby.author, after I finish playing them here, as well as on my YouTube channel, and as well as on my website. Again, my website is barrysubby.com, and I do have a video blog, which is where these live. I'm going to get organized eventually, because that's a massively overloaded page right now, so I wouldn't recommend looking, watching them there. They're so crowded. There's 300 broadcasts there. But on my website, you can find my book and the discovery session and my coaching if you're looking for that. Um, and again, you find this on YouTube, which is my channel is Barry Selby and the playlist is Messages for the Masculine. If you have questions about this topic, then put them below. And if you know somebody should watch this, please share it with them. And if you want help, I'm here. With that, I thank you for watching um, homework. You know what? I don't have any homework for tonight. Usually, I go, I, if you watch my, program, my other broadcast, you know I give homework. But tonight, I'm relaxing. So enjoy your evening. And again, if you have any questions, comments, please put them below. I will see you again tomorrow for number 319 of our daily Facebook Live. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye.